have AP300. Alrighty then, welcome back. I have just done a full shift in a miserable day cutting grass and all that jazz. And I've got back and I've had a delivery. I'm also sheltering in someone's lovely blue shed, which is not mine, but there we go. Right, um, I'm gonna tell you what's in the box, show you what's in the box, and then I'm gonna show you its first use and what my thoughts on it are. I expect a few of you are already using these, but yeah, I've got one to show you. First of all though, let me show you the state of my legs, the state of my feet. They are definitely the feet and legs of someone who has done a full shift on the lawns. Right, let me show you what I've got. It's still, uh, what is it? Still, where are we looking at? What is it? HSA 100. Right, let's see what's in the box. And um, when I normally unbox things, people get worried about me flashing my knife left, right and centre, near my wrists, near my throat and whatever. It's fairly blunt, I should sharpen it, so don't worry, okay? It barely cuts sellotape. Very glamorous unboxing. If you're if you're new to the channel, this is how I roll. Right here it is. We have a booklet. We have AP three hundred. AP300S, okay. bit of paper. I'm going to send it back. Let me put you down. Right, there it is. I think these came out last year. I nearly bought one last year, but I didn't for whatever reason. But I have got a need of one now, and I got a need of it for one job, one long kind of beach hair, just a bit fiddly, that I want to be able to cut um, from the top, drop it over the side and all that, reach right the way down. And I could do it with my HLA 66. I have done it with the 66, but this hopefully is gonna be able to do the old, the wangle dangle and just do it that way to make it a little bit easier. So um, I'll chuck a battery in there and uh, I'll take you aside and show you me using it, which will be nothing fancy, but then I can tell you what I think of it. But let's have a look at it first, I suppose, and um, then we'll use it. That makes sense. Okay, it has blades, nice and sharp. Yeah, it'll cut you. A tip protector, okay, nice wide gaps and all that. Leg guard, mm, not a massive fan of leg guards. I suppose they protect your legs. Uh, this I like to start with. It's got the old um, metal case in there with a grease point. The HLA 66 has got some plastic crap base that I always end up taping up, so that's good. Um, I never use swivel handles. Never have in the past, so I'm guessing it. Yep, yeah, that twists. Twisty, twisty. If you're into your twisty, twisty. So it's got that. Came with the buy one, get one free AP300s. Do you reckon you're charging it? It's not even my shed. It's got one on that one. One's good enough for me. Nice. Um, yeah, I've got a couple of petrol versions of this. I got no end of long recharge trimmers, petrol ones and still echo and all that and um but i do like the battery gear and yes a lot of people say our oh, battery gear is not as good as petrol yeah it's it's not uh, i'll admit it doesn't last as long doesn't cut through the same stuff for the majority of the stuff i would say i can get a hla 66 still and i can probably use it and in 18 months two years maximum i can pretty much kill one and i look after my kit I keep them for the first six months for trimming. So from say like July, August, whatever, through to all the autumn trims, 
then the following season I use them for maintenance and then by the time they get to about 18 months they're gone and they're about 320 I suppose you could buy one petrol for that plus you've got to buy your batteries but I find it easier on the body like I keep saying and I keep repeating myself if you're not into battery gear I'm not going to bloody tell you any more about it just um yeah stick to petrol but I do like the battery stuff uh weight wise mm, I would say it's probably equivalent to a um kind of top end domestic light commercial um petrol one so a lot lighter than my big echo thing but um yeah let's have a little trim of something Right, there we go it's a hedge trimmer that cuts hedges and um, I expect someone will say I shouldn't be using those batteries before I charge them I don't care and um, yeah I wouldn't be doing that normally with that I would be using the HLA 66 because um, I find them balanced and better but like I say I have got a use for this and yeah I like it I will um, use it on the channel I won't use it on the channel. I'll use it on jobs that you'll see on the channel. And uh, I'll let you know how I get on with it down the line. Right. Do you own a HLA... What is it? HSA 100. What do you think of it? Uh, let me know in the comments. And uh, if you don't like petrol, no. If you don't like battery gear, no. If you don't like battery gear because um, it's for girls or doesn't do the job or whatever the normal comments are, I don't care. Um... Yeah, but if you have got one of these and you like it, let me know. And I will use it for work, show you on the channel how we get along with it. All right, hope everyone's um, feet are looking as stinking as mine and you've had a good day in the rain. And yeah, cheers for checking in. Hope you're doing well. Catch you all later. Like, subscribe, and um, yeah, have fun. All that jazz. Catch you all later. Bye. Do you want to see the knife action? You like that, man? Right. Let's go upside.